Alrighty, so weird, weird week as far as patches go. It's been uh, <laughs> a couple of extra days. I'm assuming this happens like once or twice a year where there's like a Korean holiday and uh, we just don't end up getting a patch on time. So we're just going to hop into the Camilla banner really quick and see how many multis it takes us to get her. Um, Hopefully not too many. I would like to maybe not spend 600 on this, but if I have to, it is what it is. Like, I have the gems for it, so it's not a huge problem. I think I still need a couple more copies of Valenti, Blue Shin, and potentially Blue Mono. I can't remember exactly how many copies I have of those characters, but I don't think they're 6'6", six, six, but this is looking kind of bad already. Uh, I think I'll do what I typically do and just kind of skip through and just show the SSRs, so I will be... Uh, I guess we'll just speed speed this up. All right, first SSR we have uh, Lost Vein. Okay, Blue Shin. That's not bad. That's one of the one of the like three characters that I'm wanting on this thing. So we'll see. Okay, we got a Halloween Easton as well. Another SSR. Okay, Halloween Easton again. I don't think that she's six six because she's a seasonal character. So I, I'll take those, I guess. All right, guaranteed three hundred. Okay, it's a it's a, a king. I've already LR'd him uh, off. Yeah, I did it while I was at work today. But um, either way, he's been 6'6 for a really long time. Don't need that. So free coin, I guess. All right, we got stars in the sky. Blue Valenti, I'll take that. Hopefully, if you guys are summoning for this and you don't have Blue Valenti, you at least get her because she's really, really nice to have for Ratatasker. Another Lost Fan animation. Let's see. Okay, Blue Lilia. I think she's 6'6. Six, six. She's, she's really old as well. I'm pretty sure I've got her 6'6. Six, six. Another Halloween Easton. Okay, so that's three Halloween Eastons. And then I guess we'll just let this one ride. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like we are having to go through the entire rotation to get a copy. Okay, a Red Chandler. I guess, I mean, he's definitely not 6'6", six, six, but would have liked a couple of extra copies of Camilla, to be honest, because she is a backliner for the Unknown team. Um... My thoughts on the character, I've not really seen anybody showcase her yet. I just haven't been that interested. I was more interested in King, so I've watched him a little bit. But um, she, I assume, I assume the reason why they're they're making another unknown backliner that's not Nanashi, uh, but still really terrible CC is because they want the unknown team to go second. Which makes sense, I think, because the unknown team is good at going second, I think. Um, so I can't really say too much. Like, I'm not thrilled. I would really like to have a new Camilla. Um, because one, her ultimate's bad. She's a transforming unit. Transforming units have always been pretty rough around the edges. So it would be nice to see, like, an awakened, uh, Camilla or something with, like, a new ult and, like, new stats. But unfortunately, uh, or well, I guess fortunately, this is the third Camilla. We have now a red, blue, and green one. And that should mean that if we get another Camilla, uh, which is weird because it took them forever to give us a second one, and all of a sudden now we have all three, um, the next one that we get should be a new version of Camilla. Because now that they've done the full color wheel, like you could say, yeah, they could do a lighter dark version. They're not going to do that. Let's just be honest with ourselves. That's, <laughs> that's just not going to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to really invest too much in her cosmetics or anything like that. I guess I could upgrade the UR ones if I really wanted to, but... Um, realistically, I don't know how much I'm going to use this character. Let me finish powering her up really quickly, and then we will hop into some PvP. Alrighty, so let's go over the new Camilla really quickly. Um, she's now fully powered up. I do have her Holy Relic equipped, unlike when I showcased Jenna, which was unfortunate. Um, her passive actually does work in the back. I'm just going to use her up front for the first match or two, and then we'll probably just try to get rid of Nanashi, and then see how it works, because I've seen people say that she's like a, a Nanashi replacement, kind of. Uh, I don't know if it's like one for one, but either way, uh, the Holy Relic, we already kind of seen that before, but uh, increases attack and pierce rate of unknown race allies with four or less orbs um, by 20%, also in, uh, decreases attack-related stats of enemies who use skills during the enemy's turn by 5% for one turn. Uh, and then her new this is the new passive does work in the back as well increases basic stats of applicable allies which is unknown race and seven catastrophe characters by 15 percent and at the start of the allies turn increases hp or max hp crit resistance and crit defense 
of applicable allies by uh, or with four or less orbs in their ultimate move gauge by 25% and grants them guard uh, for one turn. And guard is removes one orb from the attacker's ultimate move gauge when attacked limit of one. So kind of nice, a little bit of an anti-ult rush. I could see her maybe being a decent character to throw on to like a Guild Wars Catastrophes team. Obviously that doesn't apply to all of you guys, but uh, her skills are a deplete single target and then a spike AOE. And uh, I kind of wanted to show them during the unlocking the passive uh, stuff, but uh, her animations actually look really cool. So I'm going to try to use them uh, maybe a little bit. I, t I don't know how well that's going to go. Because uh, realistically, I kind of need to try to crit turn one to get Fitoria's passive off. I've been using this team, obviously not with Camilla, but with uh, Narborol on it instead, just as my like daily PvP team. Um, but uh, I haven't made a video on it or anything like that just because I've get, just been messing around and it's, you know, I, I just don't really make a whole lot of videos during the week anymore. But we'll see how this goes. We're going to be running Evasion Food, of course, which ooh, might be a real problem considering that this team is a, is a thing. So if he triple AoEs here, might be a big issue because one, he has two red characters and she's green. Uh, I do have Tear Link on her, so hopefully she'll be able to survive a little bit, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, we did pull an extra single target, which I don't think is really that crazy. Evading that move is probably best case scenario because now that he's using this second, this still did so much. Um, this is. Okay, it's not going to kill her, which is great. Uh, that is very fantastic. Um, oof. I do not know what to think. Uh, he's going to full cleanse. This is the reason why I don't like going second with, uh, with the unknowns right now. Because uh, this team is so relevant. Um, I guess I'm going to throw this out, this out, this out. Actually, I needed to technically... Well, it doesn't matter because he's going to full cleanse anyway. Technically, it's better for me to use the Sabnak card first, then pop it onto Melee, so that way he cleanses off um, the uh, the other debuff or whatever, but because he's full cleansing, it doesn't matter. Um, he'll get stunned, which is kind of nice. I'm not going to have my, my taunt on anymore, though, which is really bad. Mm, that single target. I assume he's going to throw it straight on to Fitoria. Because, let's be honest, uh, Sabnak's probably not going to bring this back. And, yeah. Uh, probably just going to have to swap to CC Food. Of course. Yeah, let's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, her in the front line, obviously a stupid idea in the first place. I'm going to try it one more time, and I'm going to try to use CC food this time so I can try to get a decent decent game here, but I'm going to throw her in the back line after this next game. All right, what do we got? Okay, Assault Melee means lower CC? Okay, we do go first. That's nice, actually. He's running Esterosa as well, which is a little interesting. Uh, hmm... I actually don't know what my best bet here is. I think, as much as I don't want to use that to bait, he doesn't have a way to cleanse off his debuff, so I'm going to use this. Which, he's got high CC, so there's no there's no actual need to, to bait here anyway, but decent damage out on the Esterosa turn one, which is nice. Um, see, that animation's cool. But like The chain whip thing, like actually pretty sick. Uh, that's fantastic. One card that he can use is really, really good for us. We did end up triple critting because Sabnak's crit chance is pretty high. Um, this is double crit damage. I kind of wish it was like a sever card instead. Just because... Well, I don't know. Did we did we end up critting there? He has two like older-ish characters on the team. So that's, that's definitely helping a little bit. Um, I kind of want to show off this animation. Let's do this, this, and then this. So this one's pretty cool too. Not like anything crazy, but still kind of cool. Throw on the debuffs, and then we use the big attack card here. Uh, unfortunately, Esterosa had the lowest HP, so unless... Uh, okay, we do end up killing uh, Demiurge, which is really good, because <laughs> he would have been uh, a big nuisance there. 
He does have some pretty good stacks on Melee, which is a little scary. His basic stat ones went away though. Okay, he's pushing for an ultimate. I do have a deplete card, so that's nice. Decent damage there. Surprise, well, what do I have? I can't remember as, um, Okay, fair enough. I was going to say, I can't remember if tier link is crit resistance or crit defense. I think it's crit defense, so he was still able to crit me there. Um, either way, let's throw her in the back <laughs> where she belongs. And uh, I'm going to throw the Narborel back on the front just because it's really fun. And I'll see if we can get some decent games out of it. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously you get the rundown. She's basically just for a backline stat booster. So basic stats is great, 15%. Uh, and then max HP, crit resistance, and crit defense, which is nice. Um, and a little bit of ult control as well. So 15% basic stats versus 30%. Probably not gonna be as good, of course, but maybe those other stats will be kind of nice. Her CC is about 5,000 less than what, no, actually Narborel uh, was my the, the CC thing. Uh, I should have looked, you, you just saw it there. You can maybe skip back in the video and, and see how much lower her CC is compared to Nanashi. It seems like maybe only 1K because I think my team was at 414 with Nanashi and now it's 413. So not that big of a loss, which then again, Nanashi's 66 because he's really old. So I guess if you pull extra copies of um, Camilla could be decent CC, but uh, Kind of the same, not like anything crazy, of course. Uh, I do need to pop the, uh, whatchamacallit here. I do need to pop the debuff, so I guess we're gonna do it like this. I like to use the shot card first, because technically it, it's gonna help me do more damage. So it kind of sucks that I'm having to do it this way in reverse, because now the shot card, well, actually this AoE puts the shock on anyway. Um, which she got put, she got shocked because I attacked with, um, Fitoria first, so that's fine. Uh, we do end up putting some stacks on us, so I'm a little, little scared of that. We've got her at half. Oh, she got AoE sealed, so she's, yeah, she's gonna pop her passive here. That might be a real problem, because this second card's gonna do a decent amount of damage. Probably gonna kill her, yeah. Yeah, and then the extra damage... Okay, we live. I mean, I didn't think that was gonna kill, but sometimes you never know. Uh, let's go for this into this. I'm kind of hoping we just full wipe here. Cause this isn't gonna kill the, anybody, I don't think. And then hopefully we'll kill Hell off and Sabnak. So that way we don't have to worry about her getting reses. 1.8 mil. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, feels roughly the same. As, uh, as the Nanashi, obviously less basic stats does not sound great, 15% less, but it felt about the same, to be honest. So, I mean, it's got that going for it. All right, okay, a demon team. The unfortunate part is that it's a little bit counterproductive or counterintuitive uh, to what I was saying earlier in the sense that, um, whatchamacallit, uh, oh, I need to do it like, this. Um, I was saying that it, the, the reason why they're choosing Camilla is most likely because they want the unknown team to go second. And that really sucks because it, against the demon team, demon team, uh, this team goes way hard. Like this team goes crazy. So having to fight this team going second is a really big issue, I think. Um, so <laughs> you really just end up wanting to use CC food anyway, which really sucks because Camilla does kind of hurt your CC. Like, the unknown team is like the only team right now that doesn't have like a decent backliner. Well, Angel team doesn't have a decent backliner either, but who's running the Angel team right now? Let's be honest. So, unless we get, uh, what's her name? Um, Narabasta or something like that for the backline, like a new character with new stats, the Angel team's not going to be viable. We do need new Angels though. Like, really bad. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that he died to that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter too much, because I think this is going to kill Melly. And it kills Gilda. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was going to kill Gilda. Sometimes she sometimes she scares me with how much HP she has, but honestly, Fitoria, Fitoria goes hard. So, okay. Honestly, like I said last time, 
feels about the same as Nanashi. Not actually that bad. Like it, I was like, oh, 15% versus 30% does sound worse. Like cutting it in half. But it actually feels good. Like it actually doesn't feel like a 15 or like a 50% cut. So um, let's throw one more in and then I'm probably not going to mess with it tonight because it's already 10, 10 p.m. and I'll have to start getting ready for bed because uh, I'll have to edit and upload this, which I did get new internet lately. So the upload process will be really fast. So that's going to be great. But um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to mess with King tonight. I'll probably mess with him when I get home from work tomorrow. So I guess look out for that video tomorrow which I'm really excited about it. Like, I know that everybody was like, oh, this new king looks like ass. <laughs> but honestly, honestly, uh, he looks fun. And that is what I love in a character. So I'm not going to complain. He actually seems like he has been, like, I've seen a lot of people running some fun teams and stuff on JP. And he might not have super long, like, super long, like, meta time like the longevity of the unit might be kind of low unfortunately like lr is just even though they get an lr they do get phased out eventually um but for now he actually seems like he can be pretty interesting and fun to use which is always what i'm looking for like i really don't care about teams that just like insta sweep or anything like that like as long as the character's fun to play with that's all that matters to me and like i didn't even like narborl to begin with i was like okay narborl kind of bad but now that I've been able to like use her a little bit more and like this team in general, kind of fun. Like I'm not hating on her. Like she's not great and I'm not going to get the most use out of her in, in the long run, which kind of sucks because, you know, you spend money on the cosmetics and stuff if you're a pay to pay to win player. But um, that's part of the game, unfortunately. So we do not kill the Gelda there and end up disabling our Fitoria, which is kind of scary. Um... We're not going to be able to stun her out either. Uh, okay, not doing too much there, but she is going to lifesteal, which increases her passive. It's lowering her attack-related stats because of the Camilla in the back, which would be kind of nice, but unfortunately she's an HP scaler, so it really doesn't do much good. Uh, let's do this into this. I know that it's going to disable Sabnak, but if I use two of these, it'll put my taunt on. And hopefully I can kill, or Narborl really needs to kill the Nanashi here. Thank you. Uh, that actually didn't look like it was going to kill. But, okay. I was like, okay, she's probably going to pull her ultimate. She didn't, which is really good for me, because I was hoping that she would just ult into the Sabnak there and it, she would tank it. Um, but maybe we can kill here because she has the debuff on. Oh, this isn't going to put the, it's not going to put the debuff on though, unfortunately. Mm, that does kind of suck. Let's do shock into this, I guess. I'm hoping, ah, uh, she's, she does have a lot of HP, but we put the shock on, which is going to help us deal more damage. This single target goes pretty hard. So close. I think the AOE is still going to kill though, so that's nice. Yeah, looking good. Okay. I wanted to showcase this team anyway. We did it with Camilla, which is uh, which is fine. Honestly, it, it feels just about the same as it did with Nanashi anyway, so I can't complain. A uh, little bit of geared PvP for you there, of course. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to mess with King a little bit tomorrow. I'm excited to mess with him. Obviously, he is a little rough because he needs to use either fairies or giants, which are both two races that are not very fleshed out in this game. Uh, but I've seen people get some pretty decent results out of him, so that should be fun. So either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys tomorrow.